I'm gonna microwave some mashed potatoes too. I will talk to you tomorrow. I hope that you're having a good day. Roslyn is hanging out eating some pretzels. We've had a rough day, haven't we, little cub? She is feeling sick, so much so that she asks for Tylenol, which she never does. Um, but she's had a little bit of a fever today, so that's not been fun. Um, and we were also babysitting today, so it was just kind of a busy day. I didn't really film much because we were at my friend's house and I was watching her kid and I didn't really want to film that. Um, and now we're waiting for Ken to come home. He has to clean his back room, so it's going to be a little while before he gets here, but we're just hanging out, and I'm having a really hard time keeping my eyes open. Tomorrow is Saturday, though, so that is exciting. So I'm excited to have Ken here tomorrow. We'll see what he was up to today. I hope that he did some good filming so that you get some exciting stuff, um, because I've kind of been slacking on the filming. I've just been... Um, chasing two toddlers around all day and Rosalind's been sick and cranky so it hasn't been too fun. I honestly wonder if I had more energy when I was pregnant with Rosalind or if it's just I don't remember being this tired. It was different because I wasn't chasing a toddler around but I was working so it seems like I would have been just as exhausted especially because like I, I had to work like you know so I would close some nights and be up really late and open some mornings and be up really early. What's wrong? What are you doing? You crazy kid, what are you doing? Oh, do you see your shadow? Yeah, the messy floor. Hi, Calypso. I just want to say how much I appreciate that you're not a puppy anymore. That other dog was eating all kinds of stuff. Good morning, Box. How are you today? Good. I hope you're doing pretty well. If not, I hope this vlog cheers you up. In other news, I'm enjoying chicken strips today. Heidi got, Heidi got chicken free chicken strips. I guess they're vegan or something. But I'm feeling lazy today, so here we go. I got home really late today. Uh, I was working on just grades and putting data in and calling parents. I didn't get through all my parents' list and Heidi was like, I need you to come home. And I was like, yeah, you know what? It's like 5.30, I think I'm gonna go ahead and come home. Um, <laughs> Anywho, I'm home now, and today, for tonight's dinner, we're going to have vegan food. We're going to have this chicken-free chicken strip stuff. I mean, it looks like chicken. Cold does not taste like chicken. Let's heat it up and see if that changes it. I'm gonna microwave some mashed potato soup. Here's the thing with vegan food. Like, this stuff is made of soy, and I heated it up, and it it does not taste like chicken. However, if I ignore the fact that it's pretending to be chicken, and I'm just like, this is just... This is just fancy tofu, then it's actually pretty good, and I'm not angry with it. Here we go. We got our tofu, fancy tofu. We've got our loaded mashed potatoes, some bread, all uh, vinegar. And Little Cub's got also, in addition, cottage cheese and pretzels. Yummy, right? Hmm. Maybe she'll eat the uh, tofu stuff. Will you eat it for me, Little Cub? Brushing your teeth? Getting ready for bed? No, no, no. You have to brush your teeth first, then we can watch Anna. Teeth first. I uh, went and got the, um, it's called the uh, Frozen Short. It was on my phone and it popped up. It was like, hey, do you want to buy this? And I was like, you know, I have some Google Play credit that I've earned taking several surveys over the past like couple months. Sure, why not? I have nothing else to spend it on and it's useless at other places. So I went ahead and got it and I'm like, eh, that's fine. I really like that. I don't know if any of you guys have that. There's a, like a survey app that Google has and they like give you surveys and then they give you like Google Play credit for taking the surveys. It's not very much, it's like 10 cents, but you know, the surveys are like three questions, and so I'm like, do I play video games? Yes, what kind? First person shooters, real-time strategy, 
a little bit of RPG here and there, and MMOs. Here we go. You just finished watching Frozen Fever. Yeah, you just finished watching it. What did you think? You liked it? Yeah. What do you want to do now? What, what is that? And here I am thinking you would never break these. And already this door, the heirloom is broken already. <laughs> Little cup, you ready for bed? Yeah. Shake? No, no, no. Okay. Cake. Oh, you want cake. We don't have an ice cream cake. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. But we need to go to bed. Okay? Let's go get ready. We can no we, no we're done for today. You can watch it tomorrow. I'm not, I'm not. You can watch it tomorrow. Mm. Tomorrow, I promise. Mm. 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 Um. Okay. I think mm. it's a bit of a problem that she knows mm. to do that. <laughs> Again. Mm. Again. Okay. Let's get ready for bed, and then we can watch it one more time before you go to sleep. Okay, it's pretty short. But we have a we have a situation on hand. Little cub. Refuses to take off her dress for her bedtime. Little cub, can we put your pajamas on? Yes! Okay, yep, yeah. okay, that's kind of what happens. <laughs> oh, oh, hug. Thank you for the hug. Why are you behaving so strangely? Are you getting camera shy or something? Oh. Okay, guys. I guess Little Cup's not going to get me the book. I'll have to look at it myself in a moment, but... but we got to clean this room up. That's, that is... Your room is a disaster, Little Cub. Yeah, look at this. Curtain rod over there. There is water in there. That is correct. You got your toys everywhere. Tomorrow morning, cleaning this place up. You hear me? All right. I don't know if many of you guys remember this, but I got this book when I went hiking in the Chiricahua Mountains. And it's a pop-up book. Yay! Pop-up books are the best. However, uh, something about this pop-up book is that there are occasional scary things, such as, you know, tarantulas or bobcats or whatnot. And Little Cub had a very... Uh, Unique solution to it. Yeah, Little Cub just tore the pieces that scared her out and threw them away. <laughs> That's right. Don't touch the cactus. Something you have to teach your kids here that you don't, I think, have to teach children in other places is don't touch the plants. Like most of them. Just don't touch it. If it's green, don't touch it. <laughs> um, don't touch. Yeah, see? Don't touch. Yeah, don't touch the cactus. Don't touch. So when I was younger, I took one of my pop-up books and I kind of dissected it. And I think that's the moment when I kind of like, <laughs> like finish my, my ascension into scientist hood or whatever. And like I took, op I took my pop-up book and I was like, this is for the greater good, for knowledge. And I cut it open and I popped it open to see what was inside. I, pun not intended, but that was a good pun. Uh, I popped it open to see what was under the hood. And uh, it was really interesting. I was so fascinated. I thought that was the most crazy, amazing thing ever to see that it was just like pieces of paper in the background that made all this magic happen. That is an owl. That's right. Um, I'm sure you guys have pop-up books, but I think that she is now in an age-appropriate time to have pop-up books. A year, not an age-appropriate. Flap, flap. Yep, yeah, pull, flap, flap. Anybody else do you like? Voices when they read books. I read it the way I would like a. I I think in my brain a nature documentary should sound. We should watch more nature documentaries. Yeah, they're better than pop-up books. Or we should just go to the zoo. We'll go to the zoo when it's not so hot. I just put Little Cub down for a uh, bed, and I was laying there next to her, thinking about how it did not. It just didn't feel that long ago that I was just able just to pick her up and just throw her on my back um, and play some video games or something. <laughs> And she was so small, and I was like, I, she's just, she's so tiny, you know, and she's just gonna be forever until she's big enough that I can even do anything with her. And now, here I am, and I almost feel like, like I didn't hold her enough when I, when she was a baby, and I, I feel bad. And so, um, you know, whenever I can, like tonight, I, I'm so tired tonight. I was like, you know, let's just listen to one song and just go to bed. But 
I tried my very best to, and we listened to like three songs before I put her down in her, her bed. And I was like, you know, I want to, as much as possible, just treasure the time I have with her right now because it goes so fast. And like, even though it's like, well, I've got her for 18 years. Like, I don't really have her for 18 years. I have her in this age set for only like another year at the most before she starts getting really active. And then it's, it's a couple years and there's like blocks of time where she's just, you know, at different stages in her life. And I, I need to really work to make sure I'm enjoying it as much as possible and really kind of soaking it in. So that way when she gets older, I don't, you know, I don't feel like I missed out, even though I think, I don't think that feeling is going to go away. <laughs> I think that's just kind of the curse of the parent is you're always kind of like, they grow up too fast, right? I'm going to pass it off to Pass Ken to sign off on the vlog. Hey guys, this is the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up down below. If you're new around here, go ahead and subscribe. We do this every single day. High five. Wait, what do you want? Do you want me to hold your hand? Oh, that's so cute. Kind of weird way to hold hands, but that's so cute. The champion! Ah, I give you your champion! All right, we're ending the vlog. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Whoa, just a way to miss your cute little cub. And and good night. That's not quite a wind oh oh okay. Did I just say window? That's not quite a uh, pillow little cub. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Okay, there's no sign for that. <laughs> okay. Bye box. Yesterday we had a training at work and um, those of you guys Because it's kind of hot going. It was very frustrating. The, 